You're one lucky son of a bitch to still be alive, Joe. Yeah, tell me about it. It wasn't the first time I'd had a run-in with these guys. Over the years, they've taken more and more power in New York. Who? The Triad. The guys this morning weren't Triad, but they were sure working with them. There's always a power struggle going on with these guys, and to win those power struggles, you need money. Lots of money. One day, I was called to a meeting with Philly. He told me I was going to help him out with a little problem. Philly had decided to make his move at last. He was going to take out the Don. He was going to take control of the family. You were there when all that shit went down? Was I there? Yeah, you fucking right I was. Let me tell you something, I really made my bones that day. Joey, don't kill the old man. He's mine, understand? Not a problem, with him. I can't fucking believe they got me stuck out here on the fucking lookout, dude. What the? Shit! All right! Will somebody please stop him before the whole fucking world knows we're here? Hey, Joe! Joe, you see that bridge? If you can get across it, you should be able to reach the delivery bay doors on the other side. You open them and we'll make our move. Thanks. Any idea how many guys the old man has in there? I ain't sure, buddy, but Philly says that since the running with the feds, the boss has made sure the place is pretty well guarded, but... I got faith in you, Joey. The old man's guys didn't know we were coming, so I decided to go in nice and quiet, work my way around the building and clear the path for Philly and the rest of the guys. The place was crawling with the old Don's guys. Luckily, the deafening sound of the printing presses in the next room masked my intrusion. covering each other's backs. If I hadn't been extra careful that day, I'd have been sent back to Philly in a body bag. Tom, you're gonna mix up the magazines again. You said they was all put out and ready for delivery. But not all in the same boxes, you schmuck. Okay, okay, <laughs> I'm ready. I'll get right to it. The door to the stairway out of there was locked, like they knew there was going to be trouble. All I could do was take these goons out quietly and see what happened next. Turned out they made it easy for me. Hey, buddy, you so much for the old man's security. Motherfucker! 
motherfucker! <laughs> There were more of the old man's goons up on the balconies, but they were just as fucking stupid as the ones before. There was no fucking way I'd gotten that far without someone realizing what was going on, so the way I figured it, the sneaking around shit ended right there. It was time for some good old-fashioned violence. The Skybridge should have been a fucking bloodbath. If they were gonna stop me anywhere, it should have been there, but, you know, a few hapless grunts were the only ones there to greet me. That was where the old man made his biggest mistake. Dad and trust in Philly, of course. At last, I'd reached the loading bay doors. It was time to let Philly and the guys in to hot things up a little. Fucking finally, Joe! Hey, Joe, you stop the jerk off? <laughs> Shut the fuck up, you idiot. Hey, idiots. nice job, Joey. Come on. Let's find the old guy and end this. You know where he is? There's an office up on the second floor. You done good, Joey. Now let's get in there and finish this thing.
Hey, Joe, more of our guys are coming. Keep going, Joey. I'd admit I was expecting more trouble than this, but I guess that the old man had pulled back most of his guys closer to the office to protect his skinny white ass. The old Don's office was just off one of the walkways above. I knew this is where he was going to make his last stand. This was where his guys would be waiting for. Huh! <laughs> 
me the importance of tradition in the family. I'm going out the way I came in. Not unless you flew in through the window. Ah! 